Welcome to Extreme Excel. Today we're gonna cover uh, a tutorial on user-defined functions in Microsoft Excel. Sometimes you stuck in problems where you want uh, to have a list of basically a particular set of numbers or you can say some IDs based on some selection like I have two columns here one is ID and one is status and I want uh, this cell to have those numbers listed and these should be in comma separated uh, if I put Y as a status here so let's say this is Y currently then here it should be 2 and if I put Y here as well then it should be 2 comma 3 so basically I need to write a, a function which should do it something in this fashion right currently it is not working but yes I'll show you some demo so like this alright so this totally depends on your selection if you select let's say multiple cells and let's say you select all as y then it keeps everyone in this cell and all the values are comma separated and if you filter out some of these by keeping the status as n then it removes this directly so this is nothing just a simple formula which i have written in vba and it controls my actions based on what i am selecting here right so we'll be writing this formula this basically this function which is uh, as per my need so this is called as user defined function right so I'm go moving back to my old sheet which is currently uh, not a uh, The updated one right so I'm opening VBA editor here and inserting one module here let's say right so to write a function you need to first mention function name let's say I'm keeping the function name as micro K and I want that user need to select a particular range and based on it I need to give the output like uh, what I've shown you earlier was something like this uh, this one so basically in this cell I was writing formula like this micro k a to tell b10 and if I specify range as a to tell uh, b6 let's say right so it will cover these this range only and won't give me output of uh, the remaining part fine so I'm expecting range from user as an input so I'm passing it as a parameter let's say var or whatever you want to take it as the parameter name but that should be as range this is a type of that parameter right so automatically this AND functions comes up right and out of this range I need to know what is the first row and what is the last row of this range so I can directly write here first row that is the variable name let's say and it need to be var dot cells one comma one dot value that means uh, first column and first cell a first column and first row of this particular range right uh, not the value of it but the row number of it fine and similarly I can take another va uh, variable for last row you can keep it as small or whatever you want to and wa where dot now you need to have first the count of it by this you will be getting count of selected cells and then you need to select 
the last row here like this so this will give you the last row of the selected range fine now uh, I want the function to return something uh, which I'll be performing based on that right so if I some return something like this that micro k is hello see what what it do now now I'm going back to this function again this is my actual sheet and if I type here micro k and select some range here it will not do uh, anything it will just return me hello because I have not uh, uh, written any condition based on my range right I just returned hello as a text so I need to perform some actions based on that it need to return me some values so first of all I'll be uh, uh, I need to check what all values are y in that particular range fine so so for that I need to put if condition and because I need to um, check all the values so I need to put a, a loop as well for i is equal to first row till last row and a uh, next for it because for is always I mean ended with a next right and I need to check all the values of these cells and now I'm navigating through each and every cell of second column that is uh, the status of that right so if cells i is the row number and second is the column if this value is y then micro k should be micro k concatenated with a comma concatenated with what is in the id part of it and i comma one dot value because first column is id if you see here so i've done nothing but i've uh, uh, i have my, put my loop logic to navigate through all these cells and based on its value if this is y then pick uh, and concatenate uh, this id field with a comma as well so micro k is let's say blank here and if I define it as string right so now I need to close this if by end if and I want to make sure that user may enter y in capital or small so I'm just uh, removing the case and sensitivity of it by putting L case here in front of it L case of this need to be small y so whether user enters capital one or smaller one it will always check its lower value fine now let's say uh, user select only one uh, one uh, ID here as Y then it will return me something like this uh, micro k 1 and then comma or uh, let's say um, micro k is initially blank right and user selects one value then it will return me comma blank then comma and then one so it will append one comma in front of it and one maybe in the last of it so I need to remove front and last commas from this range because I need the commas in between only so I'll be checking the last bit and the first bit if that is comma then remove it so for that I'm putting some logic like this if left off micro k and first bit of it is a comma then micro k should be right part of it and remove the first character of it micro k the total length of micro k and minus first character so return me 
everything other than first character and closing it similarly if i want to remove uh, the uh, rightmost comma so i'll be checking right of micro k comma one if that is uh, comma then select left part of it and just eliminate last digit of it so for that length of uh, micro k minus last bit and that's it so this is my function now if uh, so now basically my function name was micro k and i have used string name as micro k as well so if we want that function should return some value then the function name should be equal to that value name or variable name so that is why i have kept my string as micro k so now if i am putting something like this micro k of this range then okay there is some error duplicate declaration because it is already declared as a range here fine let's comment it out and see if this works and okay nothing is y here that's why it is blank let's say we put keep it as y then another as y and something else as y so, so this is my user defined function which gives me a range based on my selection so this is how you can write multiple uh, functions based on what you actually want so this really enhances or this really i mean uh, exponentially uh, target the power of microsoft excel which you can uh, impose on it thanks very much uh, for watching these tutorials keep watching our channel for more videos see ya bye bye